So we're just using the default feed rates inside of JS Cut. And we're cutting on a piece of gator board. And uh, this is what we're doing, guys. We got our machine going up. And uh, we're going to do a tutorial today, but I ran out of time. But tomorrow I'm going to come back and we're going to cover this thing in depth. And I'll show you how we set up the switches, all the code, everything. And uh, so you guys, whoever's working on one of these ox machines, open build kits with a tiny G board, that you don't have to struggle with your settings. I'll get you your base settings for how to get it all set up and uh, how to set up your limit switches. Like that right there is the limit switch. And then we have a limit switch for the Z right there. And then we have a limit switch over there. Now we could have mounted all the limit switches actually on the gantry, possibly. But uh, this is pretty easy setup. It's set up with uh, 3D printed, uh, 3D printed mounts that use the T nuts to hold it on. And you can buy this bag of limit switches that are normally closed. How much you pay for those? Six bucks for a dozen switches or something like that. So they work out pretty good for these limit switches. And we're still kind of figuring out the homing and the limit switches because actually you want to have your Z home switch set up at the top so that it, when it's raised all the way up, that's your home position. However, your Z position is based on your material thickness. So, if you do soft limits and your soft limits are too high, say if you had your carriage up, say you said a 80 millimeter soft limits, for example, and your carriage was, say you home your carriage and then you type go Z20 or go Z50, it's gonna crash that, that uh, axis because it wants to travel upwards. So, we still got some investigating to do on the proper way to set up the uh, Z switch. Right now we have it set up as a Z homing and Z limit, so we can't crash the top side. But uh, there's the machine. We set it up in J -cut, JS cut to center back after it's completed, and uh, there you go. Nice, beautiful cuts with the ox.